Hi folks, it's Rob from the Brush and Bulkum. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Black Legion Venom Crawler. Now the model itself is pretty big, so when you're looking at these sections showing you the techniques, when you actually paint it yourself it's going to take a lot longer. But just persevere with it and once you get to the end it does look great. The first colour that we're going to use today is Citadel Liberator Gold. This is going to be used to do all the armour trim. Now there is loads of it so this will take you quite some time to do, but keep going and eventually you'll have it done. There is some great details on this gold as well. You've got a big star of chaos on one side, like with a weird mouth in the middle. And on the other side, you've got like a skull with another weird mouth underneath that. Plenty of details all around the model. Like so. Next, we're going to use a little bit of fulgurite copper from Citadel. This is just to do a few of the details, like the ends of these tentacles, and also some of the exhausts on the back as well. As we're going through this video, it is a big model, so you might find that some parts of it I won't paint, and then later on they'll be painted. And that's just because there is that many little tentacles and little details that sometimes you will miss them as you're going through. So if you spot anything you've missed, just pick it up as you go along. Now we're going to be using Citadel Lead Belcher. That's going to be to do all the metallic sections, so the spikes on the top, the tentacles, his spiky leg. A few of the smaller details, like the there's little bits of metallic tubing inside the fleshy tubing. It's going to be painting all that with Lead Belcher. As with everything else, I'm using Lead Belcher because it's a slightly darker metallic, so it still gives you the shine, but it's not as gleaming and bright as, say, the Model Air Chrome that I'd use on Loyalist miniatures. Next we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Retributor armour. And that's just to do a few of the smaller details like the pistons and the little chaos symbols that are hanging off him. Well it's not too many of this colour so it shouldn't take you too long to do them. It's mainly the gold, the skin and the black that you're going to take a lot of time doing because there is a huge amount of surface area on those sections. we come back, we'll have all the Retributor armour finished. So I'm just going to rotate this now so you can see where we're up to. That's with all the metallics finished. Next we're going to be using Vallejo Dark Flesh. We're going to be doing all the skin sections on this. Now there is loads of them dotted about. There's tubes hanging down underneath, there's little tubes tucked away inside, around the legs and inside the body as well. So when you paint it, if you find yourself suddenly coming across one that you haven't painted, just catch it up to where you are. And you should be fine. The flesh did take an age to paint though, just bear that in mind when you're doing it, it does take a long time. Now using a little bit of Citadel Mephiston Red. This is just to do a few of the smaller parts, like the inside of the mouth. Like so. Now we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Empress Children. I'm going to use that as the base coat for the two tongues. There's one going out the side here, and then the one coming out of his mouth at the front. Just carry on painting this, and when we come back, we'll be on to the next colour. 
Now we're going to be using Citadel Rakarth Flesh. This is going to be used as the base coat for all the bone on it. So you've got the skulls on the base, and you've got loads of little talons, and loads of little claws and teeth and things scattered all around the model. So I think as you're going through, you'll probably find more that you've missed. Just get them up to the same place as the ones that you've already painted. So I guarantee you will come across at least one little tooth growing somewhere really obscure. Now we're going to be using Vallejo Model Air Chrome. We're going to use this to do a lot of the like tubes for the pistons and that kind of thing. It's a lot brighter than a lead belcher. So any bits of metal that you think should be a bit brighter for the base coat, just to use the Model Air Chrome on those. Now the next colour that we're going to use is Citadel Avaland Sunset and this is just going to be to do a couple of little tubes that are growing around like a few wires. There's also some quite well hidden that you, again you'll come across towards the end of the model when you realise that there's no, no colour on it. So if you come across any just paint them up towards the end that's not a problem. like so. Now we're using Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. This is going to be as the base coat for the stone. This is going to make up part of the base. Now these fallen bits of masonry do have some good details on them. So you can, when you come to highlight it, you'll see how you can make that detail stand out and make it look great. Next up is Vallejo White. Now any white will do, it's just, I use Vallejo. This is going to be to do his eyes so that you can get the nice glow in there. And then there's a few little bits, if you look at the Venom Crawler model on the Games Workshop site, there's a few little bits that have got sort of a yellow, orangey, red kind of colour into them. So you just want to be painting all of those with the white. Now when we come back, we're going to have all of the white finished. Now, I don't usually do this now, but I'm going to be painting the black base coat initially. And that's mainly because when you're looking at the model here, it looks really, really kind of unfinished. Because there's loads of areas that are just either the half grey, half black undercoat that it got. And you can't really make out any of the details because I haven't been careful going over the the chaos stars or the spikes or anything like that so there's a lot of the gold on there so we're just going to do a black base coat just so you can see all the details and then once we finish this you'll be able to see a lot better what the model looks like we're moving on to the shades now the first is going to be citadel agraxer shade we're going to be using this to do all of the gold Now there is a load of gold on this model, so it does take quite a while to get it all down. And the way I've been doing the Black Legion armour of letting some of the Agrax Air Shade and then later on the Null Oil pooling on the gold, we'll probably use quite a bit of it. The next shade we're using is Citadel Reichland Flesh Shade. And this is to do all of the skin colour that we've done. That is a bit of a weird flesh colour 
that I've used on this, the dark flesh from the Vallejo. But once you put the Reichland flesh shade on, it does give it quite a nice colouring. We'll just finish that off, and then on to the next shade. Next shade is going to be Citadel Nuln Oil. I'm going to use that to do all of the metallics. So we're going to be doing the silvery metallics. We're going to be doing the concrete and the masonry blocks. We're also going to be doing the gold so that we can get that nice dirty dark looking gold that we've done on the rest of the Black Legion. Now again when you come to do the gold you want to let a little bit of the null oil pool on the gold. Not too much but just enough to darken it up. Next up is Citadel Seraphim Sepia. We're going to be using this to do all of the bone and the teeth and the little spines that are growing on it. Now I'm pretty certain you'll come across the odd tooth or claw or spiny bit sticking out somewhere that you haven't painted with Ricard Flesh. If you do, just give it a quick paint and then get the shade on there. Just bring it up to the same place as the rest of it. Like so. Next we're moving on to Citadel Caroberg Crimson. We're just going to be using that to do the pink tongues. Gives them that darker pink look that tongues seem to have. Like so. Now the final shade is going to be Citadel Drucci Violet. And that's just to do all of the red bits on it. Now we've finished all the shade, so we're just going to give that a quick turn around so you can see all the shaded areas, see how it looks. It's really, really brought the detail out on it. You can see what a great model this is. So we're now going to start putting the colour back onto it again. We're going to start with Citadel Liberator Gold, which is the first colour we used. We're going to start bringing the shine back to that gold. Now when you're painting the gold, you want to be leaving some of the grimy shade in there just to make it look that dirty kind of gold that we've been given the rest of the Black Legion. Then we'll come back and we'll have all this gold finished. Now we've just added some Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold. We're going to use this to bring out a shine on all of the gold areas. So you want to be working on the top edges of everything, where it'd be catching the light if the light's shining down from above. And this will give it quite a nice shimmery shine to it because of the amount of silvery pigment in the chrome. We come back, we'll have all of this layer finished. I'll just give it a quick rotation so that you can see all the gold finished now. You can see the nice shine that, that chrome brings out. Now we're just going to be using Citadel Lead Belcher to bring the metallic back to all the areas we used null oil on before.
like so. Now we're going to be using a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome. That's going to be to do the blades, just along the tips of them, along the edges, just to give them that sharpened look. So it's catching the light more than the rest of the blade. Also do this on the tips of all the spikes. So next we're going to be using Citadel Necron Compound, the dry paint. I'm going to be using a post-it note to rub the excess paint off the brush before you use it. And all you want to be doing is doing downward strokes with the brush so that the Necron Compound is catching the top edges where you're brushing it. This is mainly just so it looks like the light's catching the metal from the top. Next we're going to be using some Citadel Fulgurite Copper. And this is just to reapply it on the areas where we used the Drax shade earlier on, just to bring that copper colour back out. like so. Next colour that we're going to use is Citadel Technical Nihilaka Oxide. We're just going to use this on the little bit of masonry at the bottom where we've used some of the fulgurite copper there just to add on a bit of weathering to make it look like it's a bit corroded and it's oxidised a little bit. Like so. Now we're going to be using the Vallejo Dark Flesh again to reapply the colour back to all the skin. This is a big task because there is a lot of skin on this model, so it does take quite a while to reapply all the dark flesh again. So while I was painting this, I tended to get to a certain point of being sick of painting one of the layers. I just put them down for a bit, paint something else for 5-10 minutes and then go back to it. When we come back we'll have this massive layer finished. Now we've just added a little bit of Vallejo white to the dark flesh. I'm going to start the first highlight on the skin. You know, I try to pick out all the details on the skin with this layer. And there is a lot of details, there's creases in the little tubes, there's little folds of skin on the bigger areas. So there is lots of stuff to pick out with the highlights. Now we're just going to add a little bit of Vallejo white to the dark flesh. And we're going to start doing the next layer of highlights on the skin. come back once we've got all this highlighted. Just going to add some more white to the previous mix, 
just get the final highlight. On this one, you're probably just going to be doing the very, very tops of any lumps and bumps or creases. Like so. Next we'll be using some Citadel Emperor's Children, which I haven't shown here because I forgot to record it. But it is Citadel Emperor's Children, and we're just going to re-colour the tongues. As I was painting these here, I started to notice that there's actually a couple of teeth on that tongue on the side. So I had to go back and paint them so you'll probably see them change colour. Next we're going to add some Vallejo White to the Emperor's Children. And we're going to highlight that tongue. As always, you want to get the highlights so the on the top edges of the tongue so it looks like the light's catching it from above. Like so. Now we're moving on to Citadel Rakarth Flesh. We're going to redo all of the teeth and the bony spines. When we come back we'll have all of those done. Now we're just going to use a little bit of white and mix that in with the Rakarth flesh. This will give us the highlight colour for all the teeth. I usually give a couple of highlights to the teeth but I'm just going to do the one on this video. There's more features that catch the eye than the teeth and the little spikes. So I'm not really too bothered about doing too many highlights on those. Next up we're going to be using Vallejo Black. We're going to go over all of the black areas just to smooth them out cover up any of the little slips that you might have had with the golds and the silvers and the different colours. Also in some places where the washers have gone over the black it shows up as kind of like tide marks I suppose. Um, so you can go over those get the black completely smooth. When we come back we'll have all the black smoothed out. The next colour is going to be Vallejo German Grey. This is a lovely dark grey colour that I love using to highlight black. And this is just going to be to generally highlight the whole of the black areas. We're not going to be doing specific parts just as though the light's coming down from the top and you're highlighting the top edges and the top areas. like so. Now we're moving on to using Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. We're also going to be using a Army Painter Wargamer Character Brush and we're just going to be doing all little highlights around all the creases and dents and nicks out of the black areas. So you want to be doing 
the highlights on the top edge of any grooves like so so you've got the groove and then the top of the lip beneath it is what you want to be highlighting so it looks like the lights being caught as it's shining down also going to be doing all the vertical sections too so when we come back we'll have all these ridges highlighted now we're going on to Citadel my fist on red and this is just going to be to repaint the little tassel at the top here So now I'm going to be using some Citadel Fire Dragon Bright mixed with the Mephiston Red for the first layer of highlights. It's exactly the same kind of colours that we use on the loincloths for the Chaos Space Marines that we've been painting in the Black Legion colours recently. Next we're going to add a little bit more Fire Dragon Bright to the previous mix. Now we're going to do another layer of highlights. And then one final layer of highlights by adding another bit of Fire Dragon Bright to the previous mix to lighten it up. And just highlighting the very tips and the raised areas on each bit. Now we're going to use Citadel Cassandora Yellow, and this is going to be to add the first layer of the bright fiery sections on the eye lenses and the bits at the back of the Venom Crawler. We've also got the eyes and the eye of Horus on the side of the Venom Crawler there too. Just putting that straight onto the white does give it a nice bright look. Like so. Now we're going to be using Citadel Fugan Orange. And that is going to be to do the eye lenses and the bits at the back again. Now with the eye lenses you want to be doing a sort of U shape that goes about halfway up each lens so you've still got plenty of the yellow at the top there and then you're going to be doing about two thirds of these sections at the back now we're going to be using Citadel Caroberg Crimson this is going to be to do the final dark area on all the fiery bits, so the bottom end, so like the bottom third of these. You can blend this in a lot more if you want to, but I'm just doing it a quick and easy method here. And then on the front, you want to be doing maybe the bottom sixth of each lens in the U shape, so you've still got plenty of the orange and plenty of the yellow. We're also going to be using Caroberg Crimson to do areas around each of the openings where you've got the metal tubing showing through and also on this area and the areas where the armour joins the flesh and that's just to give it that kind of almost infected look make it look a little bit more tender where it joins on now again there's a lot of this so when we come back we'll have it all finished Next colour we're going to be using is Citadel Uriel Yellow. And this is just going to be to add a little bit of brightness to the yellow tubes that are dotted about on him.
like so. Now we have Mechanica standard grey and a really shaky piece of footage. So I'll try and get that steadied a little bit. Not too sure why that's shaking. But this is used to reapply the colour back onto the pieces of masonry which are littered in the floor. Now we're moving on to Vallejo London Grey. This is going to be the first highlight on the masonry at the base. As always with the highlights, you want to be getting it on the top edges and trying to highlight any ridges that will catch the light. Finally, we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo white to highlight the masonry. I only want to do this on the very extreme edges of it, only very lightly. Like so. Now I'm moving on to Citadel Rakarth Flesh here failing to show you the paint once again and this is just to do the base colour back onto the skulls on and around the masonry like so and the final colour that we're going to use is a mix of white and rakarth flesh that is just to highlight the skulls that we've just painted. And that is the finished Venom Crawler. Thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below so you don't miss any future content. And also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.